You know, there were more than 150,000 bikes sold last Christmas, and many of them were BMX bikes. Now, you can do just the same sort of things with a BMX bike as with an ordinary one. You can deliver the newspapers or ride to school, but BMX actually stands for the sport of bicycle motocross, and that can be divided into two main categories, racing and freestyling. And today, we're going to give you a few hints on the BMX freestyling. Now, here's someone who's a bit of a hero to all this lot here. He's the British freestyle champion, Craig. He's 15. Craig, what do you have to do to become champ? Uh, well, it's a lot of practice. You can just take your time working up from basic tricks to more difficult moves. Tell us about the earliest, simplest, basic tricks. Uh, it's probably a curb endo, where you uh, go up to a curb, wedge your front wheel up against it, and flip it back up, and then drop it right out of it. And uh, a rock walk, which is uh, 180 degrees on the front wheel and then on the back wheel and right out of that. They're meant to be easy. Yeah, they are pretty easy. Less easy than ground tricks are stunts on the quarter pipe. The Skyways team showed us how you can build a freestyle routine from a series of basic tricks. From a simple aerial to one hand and one foot off. And from Neil, who was voted newcomer of the year, the pop out. Land on top of the ramp, one hand and one foot off and drop in. Finally, a look at the latest stunt from the Freestyler of the Year, a frame stand fakie. Two feet on the back platform and backwards off the ramp slickly and cleanly, which all counts for the judges. This lot taking it all in are from Edenbridge Middle School, right? Yes! Yeah, that's right. Who got a bite for Christmas? I bet someone did round here. You, just one, was there? How long have you been doing BMX? About a year. And what's so good about freestyling? Well, you can do it anywhere, really, in a garage, and anywhere where you've got an open space. So what sort of tricks have you learnt, you lot? Bunny, Bunny hops, hops and endos. Craig was telling us they're good yeah. ones to start with. What else? Wheelies. Wheelies. Now, Zoe and Susan, how long have you been riding? Yeah. And do you find it very dangerous? No. The element of danger is what makes freestyle into such a spectacular sport. For some, the height from an aerial in a skate park is the ultimate in BMX riding. Neil, you ride very effective bikes. What makes them different from conventional bikes? Okay, first off, we have the freestyle peg down here. And that, now, that's for when you can put your feet on there. And secondly, we have freestyle handlebars with a double cross brace. You can put your feet on there, balance them. And then we've got the Skyway freestyle platform. And the idea of this is to convert a single top tube bike into a double top tube so that you can put your feet on there, balance on there. Much easier to stand on. Next we have, we run three brakes, two caliper brakes and a kick brake. You kick it like, and it engages the back wheel and you can do spins and hops and stuff like that on it. Now, how much do they cost? Uh, a bike like this would cost around 300, 400 pounds in the shop. That's a lot of money. Can you do it cheaper? Yes, you could do it cheaper, but it wouldn't be as good. 